day, guys. This is Jaffa talking to you guys from the Tote Thai headquarters. And I've just unboxed the paraffin heater, non pressure. And I'm going to take you through some safety information that's very important for this unit. Okay, firstly, you'll notice in terms of your components, there will be a funnel, there'll also be a safety key. You also have a lid or a cap at the top. You also have a cap at the top. Uh, your top ring also goes all the way down. It also has a combustor on the inside. In the middle of the combustor is what we call the wick device. So the wick is what actually takes the paraffin, it soaks it, and you then light that wick device. Your adjuster to get your wick up or down is this. Up is in this direction. And you'll notice that it will start to make, you have to adjust this slowly to make a clicking sound. And this is your flame out device, it's similar to a flame failure device, it's a very important safety feature. So if this paraffin the heater is bumped over or for whatever reason it shifts or shifts, this immediately kicks up and the wick therefore goes down, which means that the fire gets extinguished. So the paraffin heater most importantly in terms of the usage, you must always make sure you use your funnel, make sure that the paraffin that you buy is water clear, it's clear paraffin uh, that you're making use of, make sure that it's clean and never ever pour more than 3 litres into your paraffin tank. This is obviously a safety concern because remember this is highly flammable. Okay, under normal circumstances, never ever put anything on top of the uh, heater. Okay, this obviously is, will endanger you because it does get really hot up top here. As you'll notice that there's a lot of holes and ventilation system is on there. As a protective outside to your combustor, you also have the mesh wire. And this mesh wire is going to protect and make sure that nothing can go in or any objects be thrown in. This is also a safety concern. Always use the handle when you're moving the heater and never move the heater while it is on. Okay, so having a look at your instruction manual, remember that these pictures are also going to give you a step-by-step -step guide as to how to use your paraffin heater if there's too much writing to read, okay? But here's a quick demonstration. Firstly, make use of your spanner, have your funnel handy, and have your paraffin ready. Okay, so you're going to undo your knob over here. Okay, just put it in loosely so that we can go a bit quicker. And then from there, you'll be pouring your paraffin into your funnel. Once done, don't put more than three liters in here. Okay, not more than three liters. Make sure also that it's all, always water clear, clear paraffin. Then once you've secured your knob down and close that in, now it's time to ignite it. Okay, now remember this is your on and off switch. This is your flame out device. And this is what helps to cut off or lower the wick. So if you have a look on the inside, so this combustor is actually movable. You'll, you'll use this silver knob, right, to make sure you can move it. And you'll need to be tilting this up in order to see the wick on the inside. So the wick will be here, and that's the paraffin soaked uh, material that basically catches the light. Okay, so in order to lift the wick up to a position where you can actually light it, you need to go up, up, up. And you have to do this part very gently because a slip could mean that the flame out device will activate and kick the So this little white material is what we call the wick and this is the material that has to soak, meaning it has to stay down. The first time that you open your heater, allow the heater to be filled with paraffin and just still for at least two hours. Okay, make sure to keep it somewhere safe, away from children, away from anything flammable, any combustible material, any flames or fire. And then your combustor is the one that comes at the top of the wick. All right, so here's the ignition, guys. Paraffin lamp ignition. So first you need to strike your matches properly. Okay. 
okay, and now just take your wick all the way up. Doesn't need much. And that's ignition. <laughs>